Uh, today for our meditation, uh, what we have is uh, a very beautiful meditation. And uh, let me introduce this. I will be talking on this meditation also perhaps next week. I will just introduce the meditation. Uh, it may be, it's a slightly long uh, 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 descriptive detail, but we'll just uh, see today and next week the same meditation. The topic remains the same what we did last week. If you recollect last week, we talked about Chin Mutra. The same thing I'm going to talk, I'm going to explain now in today's meditation. Chin Mudra is explained in Dakshina Murti Stotra. This is the verse to remember when we try to understand what is this Chin Mudra, because Dakshina Murti is, uh, is, a, uh, is a, the first teacher who taught Vedanta. And how did he teach? Just by remaining, by showing the symbol. See, symbol can give the knowledge of the whole country. For example, a flag is a symbol. It represents India, Singapore, America, London, UK. All this is a, it's, a flag is a symbol. Similarly, the coin which we use is a symbol of a country. So, Dakshinamurti is the teacher of Veda and he uses a symbol which is called as Chin Mudra. The third verse of Jakshana Murti says, Yasyai Vasvuradam Sadatmakam Asatkalpartakam Bhasate Sakshat Tatvamasi Veda Vachasa Yobhodayat Yashritan Yet Sakshat Karanad Bhave Na Punara Vridim Bhava Bhonidau Tasmai Shri Guru Murtaye Nama Idam Sri Dakshina Murtaye. This is how this verse goes. Krishna Murti Stotram is a PhD in Vedanta. If you can understand Dakshina Murti, you have understood the whole Vedanta. In this particular mantra, what does the what is the meaning of this? That teacher who awakens in me that glory of Atma. See, in me and in you, there is an Atma. But that teacher who tells me the glory of this Atma in me, how does he teach this? By profound silence, he does not speak. Because why he does not speak? Awareness cannot be described by words. The unreal are only appearances in the mind. Unreal world. The world is supposed to be asat, unreal. But what is sat? If there is asat, if there is something which is false, there has to be something which is sat, which is a substratum. And that substratum is described as tatpamasi. You are that. That's all. Tat tuam asi. You are that is the word of the scriptures. Chandogya Upanishad. This is straight from Chandogya Upanishad. When the teacher says, you are that, means what he is saying is, I am that consciousness principle. This is what Dakshinamurti is teaching us through his Chin Mutra. I will then get the direct knowledge, direct experience of that pure state of 
Brahman. If I get that knowledge of Brahman, what will then happen? That is mentioned here, the phalam of learning Brahma Vidya. What is the greatest phalam? My delusion about myself and the world will be gone. What happens when the delusion goes away? Na punara brittem. I am not born again. See, in one verse, see the meaning which is packed. So many things have been said in this verse. So what is the best way to have get rid of samsara, to get rid of rebirth, is understand Dakshinamurti Stotra. Very profound, very, very profound. I'll give you, this is the picture of Dakshinamurti. You can see the photograph. His right hand is got a chin mudra. This is the picture which I visualize in my meditation, the Lord with Chin Mudra. And what is this Chin Mudra? I explained last week also, the Chin Mudra, the, the three fingers represent the Prakriti Tattvam, the three Sharirams or the three Avastas waking, dream, and sleep. The index finger, if it is not touching the thumb, will be straight. It will be touching the three fingers. That means it will be joined along with the three avasthas. The index finger is called as the jivatma. If the jivatma joins the three shavirams, or the three avastas, that jivatma is, is, is a samsari. He is, the, he is uh, leading a false mithya life. But if he touches the thumb, that index finger, the Jivatma touching the thumb, indicates Jivatma Paramatma Aikyam. The thumb represents the Paramatma, the higher nature, which is the reality, which is called as Brahman. Paramatma and Brahman are the same. Brahman is a term used when there is no upadi. When you are seeing your body, mind, and universe, it is called as Paramatma. So this is the significance of Chin Mudra. What I will do is, I will stop here with the significance. I will continue this because I want to explain to you the Mahavakyam Tattvamasi. This is in continuation of chapter 3 of Panchadasi because ultimately the third chapter is teaching us I am that Satyam Jnanam Anantam Brahma. Okay, so we will continue this meditation notes and the meditation we will continue next week also. This is a very profound meditation. If you follow the notes, if you follow the meditation process, there is no doubt that you will reach your own true self. So, please close your eyes. Sit erect.
I am aware of the breath in this body. I can feel the air going through the nostrils into my lungs. This process of watching the breath is called as pranavikshana. Whenever your mind is agitated and you want to relax the mind, sit in this posture, observe your breath. For those who meditate observing their breath for a length of time, maybe for a month, you will observe that your agitations in the mind will drop. The rajas aspect of the mind is reduced. The mind is prakriti, nature material, subtle material. Made up of panchabhutas. Being subtle in nature, my sense organs cannot perceive the mind. The senses are gross, mind is subtle. This mind is seen, known by Sakshi. The term Sakshi refers to the awareness principle, which is reflected in the reflecting medium called the mind. The mind is a unique material, very subtle. The only thing which can reflect the pure consciousness. I, the Sakshi, 
can differentiate the three states of the mind. In the waking state, the mind is active. It wakes up the sense organs and experiences the physical objects. The same mind is able to shut off the sense organs it can experience the dream which are the minds projections i the sakshi and the light which is reflected in the mind which undergoes the dream There is no change in the sakshi between the waking and the dream state. It is only a witness. After the waking and dream, the mind needs a rest. It becomes passive. It withdraws into the heart, the physical heart. Nadi. Very fine nadis in the heart hold the mind in sleep state. The Sakshi witnesses the absence of the world, absence of awareness of the body and mind in the sleep state. Dakshina Murti teaches all seekers of Brahma Vidya through his Chin Mudra. I visualize the Chin Mudra in my mind.
the three fingers which are not bent reflect the three states of waking, dream and sleep. These three states come and go as per the law of the cosmos. I, the ego, which is called as the waker, dreamer, sleeper, have understood my nature. I no longer take the three states as intrinsic to me. There is a Sakshi which is changeless, pure, unaffected, unattached, like the space. I am that Sakshi, pure. I am one with Ishwara. My mind is no more rajasic. It has become sattvic, calm, quiet. I can enjoy my own bliss in this pure state. There are no vishayas, no objects. But still, I am blissful. I am Sat principle, pure existence. Changeless. Immortal. Calm. 
calm. Oh Purnamada Purnamidam Purnahat Purnamudachade Purnasya Purnamathaya Purnameva Pasishade Om Shanti 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 Once again, I become aware of the breath. I become aware of this body. Please rub your palms and slowly, gently open your eyes.